Hello, everybody, and welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is January 30th, 2016. Our message today is Self Foolish or the Parable of the Rich Fool. I am also sharing within that um, another message, part of the message from Matthew 7 9. So if you want to follow me, Luke 12, 13 through 21, Matthew 7 9. Someone came to the teacher, who was Jesus, Tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me, Jesus replied. Who appointed me judge between you? Then he said to them, Watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. And then he told them this parable. The ground of a rich man yielded abundant harvest. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And there I will store my surplus grain. And I will say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for your years. Take life easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to them, You fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you, and then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves, but is not rich toward God. Matthew 7, 9. This talks about a man. And said, Jesus said, who would, what would you give your son? Bread, or would you give him a stone? A snake or a fish? So, brothers and sisters, basically what I'm saying here is we need to be really truthful. We need to really help somebody out. Don't be afraid to feed somebody, provide clothing for them, or maybe even help them out. Uh, a couple maybe uh, is on the streets. They need to be fed. They need to be having clothing. They need a place to stay, help them out, put them in a hotel for a week. A mother want, wanting to go to go to somewhere uh, uh, because she was a victim of abuse. Help her to get ready. Uh, a, someone that might ask you for some food, a morsel to eat, feed them. Um, if you have extra furniture or if you repair furniture, give it unto others. So what I'm saying is better to do God's work than to sit there and be greedy. We don't need all the all that we have. God supplies us with more than we need and he knows what we need. So as this day continues, I want you to think about this message and have a blessed Saturday.